Yeah. And now you're there. That makes us like brothers and sisters. Simon. There she is, right here. Her name's Miss Jan Brett. She gets to go flying. Right? Yes. Yes. I didn't Any of you have pets? We have pets. Do any of you have pets? I do. I do. Well, we're gonna go across the street. She's gonna get her. She has to go get on her clothes so she can go on the airplane. And uh, make sure your uh, next of kin is legible. Okay. And uh, today's pilot, your pilot is going to be Lieutenant Keith Hoskins. Throughout the flight or throughout this brief, I'm going to be referring to him as number seven. He's the number seven right pilot. He's also the narrator for the squadron. Um, you already signed the waiver. Uh, you'll be flying in the uh, Boeing F-18 Hornet Escort. My uh, part of my job is to brief you and prepare you for your ride in it. Uh, the Bo it's built by the Boeing Corporation. It's a dual engine aircraft. It's uh, Two engines provide uh, 32,000 pounds of thrust for it. So that's a lot. <laughs> and it can take them up to speeds of almost twice the speed of sound, which is 1.7 miles. Uh, next rule is don't touch anything unless myself or number seven tell you to touch it. Okay. And black and yellow handles in the cockpit. That's off off limits. Okay. Just to keep black it. and yellow. Black and yellow handles are. I'm off. not going to touch anything until they tell me to. Right. And then you're going to uh, talk about you're going to be dealing with the forces of gravity today. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about G's. So when you when you're talking about G's, he's gonna tell you to look at your G counter. This number right here is mm -hmm. uh, G 1.0. That number actually fluctuates throughout your whole flight. It shows you how many G's you're actually pulling throughout at that particular moment. The number below it, that number never decreases. It can only increase. This airplane is rated at eight G's. Uh, so when you come back, I will know exactly how many G's you pulled. Or it'll be fun. Okay. It'll be fun. You'll actually get to fly the plane a little bit today. Uh, okay. So it's going to be exciting. It's going to be yeah. very exciting. You got any flying experience at all? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, oh, you do? Yeah. Awesome. So you do loops and everything and that thing, right? I've done a few loops. Yeah. All right. I'll let you guys be on your way. I don't want to hold up the, the no. schedule or anything. I guess I'm walking in 20 minutes or so. 20? Okay. So we'll yeah, get started. 20 minutes. All right then. Are you ready to walk over? Now, how is it, is it easy to do that type of thing? Can you oh, yeah. Walking? He's going to go ahead and give you pretty much the same brief again. Yeah. Slide this under your leg. Right there. And then comes around. Go ahead. You want to leave at least room so you, you can stick your hands under your oh, legs. Oh, that's where I go. Right, there you go. out to runway three zero. Angel seven on Central Tower, runway three zero, wind two five zero one five, clear for takeoff. Okay, we're staring down the runway, okay, brakes are on, parking brakes off, and running them up. Running them up to eighty five percent. Everything looks good. January has some fun? Yeah, I'm ready to have some All fun. right, here we go. And a full afterburner, and we're off the brakes. And we're starting to accelerate. Double check my engine instruments, everything wow. looks good. 987, good swings and good oil. Okay, so now we're getting up there about 150. And I'll get the nose up just a little bit. <laughs> so we're staying pretty low to the ground. And yeah, I can uh, do that. we're accelerating. 
Okay, ready, hit it! And now we're pointed upwards. Wow! Okay, we're at 50 degrees nose up. And we're accelerating. We're passing through 3,000 oh feet. Oh my gosh. And look to your left and right, and you can get a good feel wow. for how wow. fast Wow, this is unbelievable! Yeah. This is unbelievable! Okay, we're passing 5,500 wow. feet. This is unbelievable! And now I'm going to roll wow. the airplane to the wow. right. Awesome! Wow! And we're up at 7,500 Wow! Feet. Unbelievable! Oh, it's really beautiful! Yeah. Wow! That was the high performance climb. Uh, I'm not going to be... That's unbelievable! <laughs> it is really pretty up here! Yeah, it's beautiful. I love this! Okay, first maneuver I want to demonstrate to you is called the wing over. I know you've done it in gliders. Uh, yep. But yeah, I'm just going to pull the nose up 45 degrees, and uh, we're going to come down to the back side. And what I just want to show you is that uh, the variance of G is, of course, proportional to airspeed. Okay? So how, many, how many Gs will we pull? 2.5. Not okay. bad at all. Okay, so we're at 300 miles per hour, and I'm going to go ahead and start this maneuver. Okay, so now we're going to start rolling. Okay, i still got the stick back. We're pointing up here vertically. Now our airspeed's at 130, uh, 120. Not going to be uh, judged. Negative. How's your ride? Wow. Having a ball. Oh my God. Now we're coming in the back side. Got up with it. And then now we level out. Next maneuver I'd like to demonstrate to you is uh, inverted flight. We actually fly upside down. So on this, Jan, you're going to be hanging from your straps upside down, okay? Okay. And uh, it's kind of neat. And we do, we do uh, a lot of our maneuvers around 400 miles per hour, 400 to 450, and I accelerate the plane uh, up to about 420 miles per hour as we do this maneuver. Okay. So uh, there's a switch up here. You see my left hand? Yeah. This switch is our inverted pump switch. So I turn that switch oh, yeah. on to make sure that fuel is still being pumped to the engines while we're pulling negative Gs during yeah. this maneuver. Wow. Okay, so I'm accelerating up. It's going to be a pretty violent uh, rollover, so yeah. hold on. Okay. And uh, we're going to be upside down here real soon. You all set for this, Jan? Yeah, I'm all set. All right, ready, hit it. Woo! Yeah. Wow. So, how do you like hanging oh, upside down? I like it. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're rolling right side up. Wow. There we go. That was inverted flight. Okay. Go ahead and put your hand on the stick. Done. Okay. Now, my hand's off the stick. So I want to let your natural ability take over at this point. If you look on the display to your left, and I don't, okay. want, I don't want you to totally focus on it, but uh, that little the plus sign that has the bottom cut off in there, that's our velocity vector. Right now you're at Okay, level. that's where I should be right there. Yeah, right now you're at level flight. Yeah, if you want to do linear on roll, just take the stick and uh, push it to the left. Will you help me out? Yeah, I sure will. I sure will. Go all the way over? Yeah, go all the way over to the left. Fast or slow? You can go a little faster. I'm helping you a little bit. Just keep, there you go, keep it going to the left. And stop it. Whoa. There you go. Do you like the way the airplane handles? Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's so stable. Okay, what I typically do is uh, there, you see this mountain range right over here? Yeah. That's kind of like in front of us? Yeah. There is a canyon inside of uh, that mountain range. You can kind of see, see it. I see it. Yeah, what I do is I, uh, I fly through that canyon, uh, and I simulate what it looks like uh, flying pretty tactical, low and fast. Oh, my God. Going into a target area. All right? Yep. So, right now we're accelerating up to 480 miles per hour as we head through this canyon. Okay, it's going to be a little bumpy because of the wind out here today. Okay, we're almost in the canyon. 
All right, and we're entering the canyon. Couple left. Oh my gosh. And just take a good look around you. Oh and, uh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Wow, I'm in Star Wars. Okay, coming left. Oh my gosh, I'm in. St this okay. is unbelievable. Okay, still coming to the left. Oh my gosh. Now I'm coming right. Woo. Woo. Oh wow. Okay, roll wings level, and now we're gonna come up over the top. Woo! Oh, over the top. Wow. And now we'll roll out one. Oh level. my gosh. Okay. That's spectacular. Yeah. Oh, man. How you doing back there, Jan? I'm good. All right, you're doing. You know what? You're doing really well. Thank you. You are. I mean, this is uh, this is awesome. You're you're a good passenger because you are doing well. And I'm not just saying that. I've uh, I've had many people back there at this point, right now, that are that wouldn't be doing so well. So uh, you are doing really well. Uh, at this point, I always ask my flyers if there's anything specific that you want to see as far as maneuvers. Okay, I would love to see like where you do a roll, but you do it on the point. Okay. I will do a four-point roll. Okay. And it's going to be pretty violent, so hold on. Okay. You all set back yeah, there? Yeah. Okay. Ready. Hit it. Woo! Ah. Woo! Ah. Oh. That's a four-point. That was pretty nifty. <laughs> I loved it. I'm happy. Okay. You sure? Yep. All right. I want you to be satisfied. I'm more than satisfied. All right. Okay, we're going to head out of here about 3,500 feet. Okay, there is the field over there to the right. I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, kind of at our 130 position. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I see the runway. Oh, it's real close. Yeah, real close. When we come into land, yeah. all Navy pods, we do what we call a carrier break. Yeah. We come into the break at uh, 800 feet above the ground, all right, and we actually turn the airplane 180 degrees, okay, so 180 degrees. Yeah. Okay, but I, I come in and I do a left turn, kind of like our high G turns yeah. that we practice. Yeah, what I do is it lasts for maybe 10 seconds, and we pull about six Gs in the turn. Okay, so six Gs is essentially what you pulled today. I won't go above that. Okay, thank you. Because you, you probably don't want me to. No. And I'm not going to ask you to. But uh, I think you did real good on the sustained Gs. You you didn't gray out at all, and that's great. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll say, ready, hit it. And then we'll come in, and I'll pull six Gs okay. as we do this maneuver. And the reason why we do this, you come in fast, and then as you turn, you slow down to get to gear speed so you can okay. put your landing gear down. Okay, you all set back there? Yeah, all set. Two zero, inside powder, blue angel, okay, Rick. Ready, yeah. hit it. Nice job. Outstanding. Wow. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to start our turn. Okay, I'm trying to keep that ball in the middle steady the whole time. I've okay. got my hook down, and if I keep it in the middle, hopefully wow. I'll catch the three wire. Wow. Okay, when we come in and land. All right, I'm trying to maintain about 650, 700 feet per minute rate of descent. You keep watching that ball, and you tell okay. me how I do. I'm trying to keep it in the middle, keep it in the middle, yeah. keep it in the middle. Really? Wow. It didn't get really? better than that. Okay. That violent landing that you just felt is what you feel uh, on the ship. The hook, wow. was, the hook would be down, yeah. we would catch a wire, and we would come to a complete stop within wow. about 170 feet.
seven G's in the break. Yeah. yeah. Auto riders can't do that. Great. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a trooper. Man, you did great. Well, you could, it was like being in Stone.